Spice to me is something I think about in every cocktail that I make. I think that it adds multiple layers to a cocktail and it's one of the best ways to balance out a cocktail and even enhance the spirit that you're using. So with Angostura specifically, one of my favorite things to do is a nice little spray that's a rinse and it's like, it's that aromatic, um, roasted herbaceousness. For a punch to be successful, it has to have some sort of spice to it, right? So you have this spirit, which is very much heavy and you know, at the backbone of the entire operation. Then you have to have something sweet, which could be the oleosacrum, some citrus in there as well. But in order to make it successful, it needs to have a spice component to it. Angostura bitters really fits that bill in order to fill both those voids. It marries the two together very, very nicely. It's able to complement it with nutmeg, with cinnamon, and one fell swoop with a couple dashes. What you have here, I've taken sweet potatoes and I've juiced them raw. I've combined that juice with toasted coconut and ginger simple syrup. Um, there is going to be grilled oranges that I've also juiced down and then coconut water that is infused with mint and orange. Your garnish is gonna be a sweet potato that's dusted in Angostura infused sugar that I lightly brulee. It is meant to be consumed while drinking the punch, and your glass is gonna get rinsed with an orange bitters rinse. Bitters are the bartender spice rack. They really are. I mean, if, if we're looking at just like a basic old fashioned, when you have your spirit and your bitters and your sugar, the, without the bitters, it, it tastes just overly sweet or overly alcoholic and you get too much of the spirit, but the bitters really helps to like pull things together. It helps to smooth it down. It helps to bring up what the things like you, that you need. Like if you're cooking and you don't add salt to something, it's gonna kind of taste terrible. You gotta add a little bit of salt. You know, bitters for cocktails does just that. Bitters? Well, you know, some say it's like the, the salt uh, on a cocktail. When you have something bitter, anything else that you're tasting kind of has like a little bit more pop to it. So it's like when you think about like Manhattan and you throw bitters in there, the spices that you get from the tannins of the wood in the bourbon are just heightened a little bit by the fact that there's just like a couple of drops of bitters in there. So that's why we have bitters, is just to, to kind of make cocktails pop. It's like a garnish, you know, like you put some bitters in to like a cocktail that's a little flat and you're like, oh, that brought out all the things I wanted to find in there and then you put a little like orange zest on it and it just brings it all together. For me, bitters is a great equalizer. Usually if a drink isn't working, the reason being is because you're like, oh, well, it's like the rug that tightens the room together. You know, it works so well because it gives you this depth of flavor that there's not really anything in can use to get that same flavor otherwise. Some cocktails it's there to get on the nose, you know, so as you start to drink it, you get this beautiful whiff of whatever bitters you're using. Some bitters I think are like Angus Thor where they help finish the cocktail strong. I mean it is the standard, like you can't have a cocktail bar without Angus Thor bitters, like you, you can't. I mean every old fashioned, every Manhattan. It's a really cool way to easily get just like a touch of a flavor that you were looking for without it taking over it. So it was two brothers, right? One of them was tasked with designing the bottle. One of them was tasked with designing the label. And they kind of worked independently of each other and they came together and this is how big the label was and this is how big the bottle was and they couldn't agree who should change, so they ended up literally just doing it like this, and now this is like one of the most iconic kind of labels in, in cocktails, or really in the food world. It's kind of like the beginning and the end of it all. It's, you know, I got the ball rolling. It's something that I don't think there's any bar in, in the world that doesn't have a Angostura. I look at orange bitters almost like the salt, and the aromatic bitters like pepper. I mean, you can't cook without salt and pepper. Uh, I think that's how essential bitters are to cocktails. Mm -hmm.